Yeah, any victory is a good victory. Momentum for the road trip? Uh, no, not really. I mean, we had a great game you know, before we left here against Indiana you know, on the road trip. So, you know, we just got to focus on you know, each game at a time. Searching for the flow, it seemed like all evening long, ball down to your shot. Is that the way you wanted to go again with you taking the last shot? Uh, no. You know, I, I, think, I mean, we scored a lot of points in it. Um, so, yeah, that's it's not going to championship. You know, we got to stop people. And, um, you know, we didn't do a good job of it. It really does come down to defense, doesn't it, Kobe? Every time. You know, if it didn't, we would have won back-to-back -back championships two years ago last year. So. Kobe, take us through the, the final shot you took. Uh, well, I was just uh, surveying the floor a little bit. You know, figured they were going to double me early, so I wanted the ball in a position where I could, you know, see my covers. And, um, you know, they didn't come early. Yeah, that gave me an opportunity to escape baseline once they did come and uh, knock that shot. Kobe, I asked her coach, uh, why didn't you triple team you <coughs> to make sure you never touched the ball? And he said, well, we, we had enough hands up, but he pushed off hard enough where it didn't matter anyway. So how do you respond to something like that? Thank you. For? <laughs> For the compliment. Uh, okay. <laughs> we also did say that, you know, you're one of the best players in the league, and the fact that you can double team or triple team, no matter what, you're still going to knock down that shot. You just got to tip your hat to him. When you get that accolade from other coaches, how does that make you feel? It makes you feel good. You know, I've obviously worked long hours at that shot, so you know, it feels good to get uh, the respect from my peers. Kobe, moments like these, as, as great as they are for you, because <coughs> they ever come mixed with frustration that it has to come with that, come to that? Um, yeah, you know, sure. You know, the point thing is that we got out of here with a win. And that's part of our responsibility here is to close games out. Here in Orlando, um, the same shot. You know, I just, uh, I just missed it. Um, but it's my job to kind of bail us out when things go south. But just having to bail out at all, though, it's, it's not where you'd want to be. It at. happens. You know, that's why baseball has closers. Kobe, are you surprised? <laughs> are you surprised though that you guys didn't come out harder and a little more intense in this game, considering coming off a three-game trip like that? Well, you know, Toronto is a, is a tough team to really measure. They're very versatile. They don't have anybody in the middle. You know, everybody's on the perimeter and operating from that position, so it's tough to put your body on people. So you know, it was kind of tough to get a hold of them. You know, it's like a fighter that just is continually dancing around the ring. And, um, so from that standpoint, you know, it's, it's good preparation for Phoenix, though, because you don't see the same thing in Phoenix. So, Cole, what positive aspects do you take from this game? None. None? None. You throw this shit in the garbage. Is it nothing that you would say on the checklist of things after the road trip that you wanted to work on that you saw positive? No. Nothing. No. Our defense in Orlando was much better. You know, that effort, the effort that we had in Orlando will be tough for a team to beat us four times in the series. This, this thing tonight was, was garbage. What do you tell the average fan out there who's saying, hey, uh, we have not only higher expectations from you guys, but a championship caliber as well, and uh, how do you explain what's going on here in the last several games? No, it's, it's part of the season. I mean, that's why it's, it's tough. You, know, you have to muster up the energy, and you muster up the energy, you have to execute. And there's a lot of things that have to fall into place. And so, um, you know, that's our responsibility to make sure that happens. And it will. Can you talk a little bit about Andrew's performance in the fourth quarter? He played a lot of big minutes and mm -hmm. big moments as well. And he played extremely well. I mean, it's, it's, it's a tough balance for us um, you know, with him and Powell. I mean, it's, it's tough to, to, to balance out. I mean, it's either one plays well and the other one doesn't. You know, it's tough to get them both playing extremely well. Um, but that being said, we're very fortunate to have two seven footers you know, that, that can both do and put up big numbers. You know, I think that's very important to have. Kobe, what do you have to do a better job of on Friday in Phoenix? They beat you down there last time than you did tonight. You got to slow the game down. You got to slow the game down, not turn the ball over. You know, transition defense obviously is a big key. You know, I feel like if we can do those things, we should be fine. Yeah, Kobe, Phil was saying you all didn't have the same consistent urgency <laughs> you had last year. You don't have that yet. How do you find that? How do you find that? It seems things are so different this year. Um. <laughs> I think what we have to do right now is just focus on execution. That's one, I think. A lot of times what happens is you, you get so wrapped up in the length of the season and wanting to win a championship again 
that you overlook the small things. And I think that's when the malaise sets in because you look at the length of the season. And that takes its toll on you mentally as opposed to just thinking about the next day and playing as hard as you can for that day. And that's the mentality that we have to have. And, and, you know, and that's how field coaches. So um, you know, we should be fine. Is that including hunger? Should you guys have more hunger at this time, do you think? Especially down this stretch now? No, we're hungry. <laughs> no, we're hungry. I think it's, a, it's, it's thinking about it in a different way, taking it day to day, as opposed to looking at it you know, when June comes around. You know what I'm saying? I think it's, you have to think about it as tomorrow and nothing more, nothing less. Kobe, last think, question. Kobe, do you think that the other teams have turned up their intensity because you are the champions? Well, of course. And, and that way they're coming with a more intense desire? Of course, sure. Sure, absolutely. Absolutely. We can, we can play through that. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks. 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 Thanks.